in just one second, Mr. Oh, I didn't know it was you. No matter. Let's begin. Hmm. So I presume you know why you're here. This is standard procedure for anyone we believe to be involved in high profile criminal activity but don't have the proof. We're allowed to hold the individual for up to 72 hours while our detective division conducts an outside investigation. At which point, the person is scheduled for a psychiatric evaluation therapy session. They believe that you'll be able to open up to someone like me and help expedite this whole process. Be able to get your file here. Seems you've been a bit on our radar for quite a while now. But nothing major has ever come back as a conviction. It means you're doing your job. Your job being to keep quiet, to keep a low profile, make us think you're involved in nothing more than misdemeanor crimes. Our job is to prove you wrong. I'm looking at your file here. I can see they think you're the head of one of the biggest crime syndicates in the country. That's why you're here. Now, I haven't been here long, but I can tell you they don't bring you in like this unless they really think you're their mark. Maybe you want that, maybe you don't. I don't know. Let me give you a little bit of advice. Don't do your job anymore. Because if you continue to do your job under these circumstances, you're gonna make us more and more suspicious of you. Now, I'm not here to judge. I'm the in-between impartial party. I can't sway your answers one way or the other. But if there's something you wanna tell me right now, I'm listening. our time for today. Nice work. We'll talk again tomorrow. Welcome back. Seems my superiors aren't too keen on your lack of intent to speak. It's a tough spot to be in. I know. No matter though. Today we're gonna do a simple picture task. I'm going to show you two pictures. They could be related. They could be unrelated. They could be themed or not. Just want you to take a look at them and tell me which one puts you more at ease. Please try to answer as quickly and efficiently as possible. The more time you take, it could affect the results. One for religion. all the time we have for today. Nice work. We'll talk again tomorrow.
I read something interesting this morning. Apparently, the more time you spend with someone, the more you come to appreciate them as a person. I wonder if that works for me and you. Okay. Today I'd like to start with another exercise, a simple word association. I'll say a word and you say the first thing that pops into your head. For example, I might say cop and you might say All right. Death. Happiness. Gun. Tool. Sunlight. Sky. Moonlight. Spotlight. Pyramid. Climb. Country. England. Family. Done. Well, I guess that'll do it for today. We'll pick this up again tomorrow for your final session. Thank you for your cooperation. Is it? Your hold is up. Your termination of the findings expect to be made by the end of the exam. You gotta say, I'm a little confused about something. They haven't been able to pin anything to you yet. Anything serious. If you're not who they think you are, why are they so intent on keeping you here? They're bored. <laughs> it's a bit short-sighted, don't you think? I have spent four days with you and I haven't been bored once. Your job must really suck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, it's, it's great. It affords me lots of different opportunities. I get to meet lots of different people, but so much of that depends on talking, and you and I haven't done much of that. Well, you haven't. We spent all this time together, and I still don't know anything about you. I saw you read my file. <laughs> well, that's just your criminal record. Nothing interesting. What is it you would like to know? Oh, I don't know. Why do they call you red? Because it's the color of your blood. <laughs> Bad question. Hmm. You're obviously involved in some sort of criminal activity, otherwise you wouldn't be here. My question is, what level? I just keep my foot in the door. Nothing fancy. Not exactly a good strategy if you want to keep out of line of sight, now is it? Why would I want to do that? What do you mean? My job is not to stay away from you. My job is to try and beat you. Why would you want to do that? Because you're my enemy. Excuse me? All the people in this world, good or bad, why do we remember them? Because of what they do, the choices they make. I know you have a copy of my file there. You know what I do. The reason your boys can't pin me for what they want is because there's no record of me in that circumstance. Your job has never been about what you know. It's always been about what you can prove. My job is to make sure you can't do that. What I can prove about you and me and everybody else in the world is that 
Nobody cares. Nobody cares what you do or how you do it or where you end up. They just want to know that you're going to be where you say you're going to be when they need you. Another life lesson, doll. If you want anything in this world, you got to take it for yourself. You never get any of this time back. I wish my father knew that. Your father? He was killed when I was younger in a train crash. Trek through a switch while he was crossing the Canadian border. You want to know the first thing they asked my mother when we found out? She can handle the funeral arrangements on her own. Shitty doll hand, right? Ever since then, I knew what I wanted. What's that? Redemption. upstairs for your final verdict. You know, I've met with a lot of you and for a psychologist, you aren't very intuitive. I'm not a psychologist. What? My name is Lieutenant Reagan Black and I'm a detective in the SIU department of the LAPD. How did you... I'm sorry, it's my fault for not explaining too fully how this works. You see, we knew we were looking for someone who had family ties to this crime organization. We knew that person had been raised by their grandparents when their father was killed in a horrific accident when they were young. And if you watch the tape back, you'll see we have you all but confessing to wanting redemption for your father's death. Add that to the fact that you've always been involved in some sort of criminal activity. It's not hard to put the pieces together now, is it? You talk about it like you know it's true, and, and that's all the proof we need. Now, as a psychologist, I wouldn't be able to use this as a confession because it's not the same department, but as a detective, this confession qualifies. They'll take you upstairs now. You aren't very intuitive. Your job has never been about what you know. It's always been about what you can prove. My job is to try to beat you. Why would you want to do that? Because you're my enemy. If you want anything in this world, you gotta take it for yourself. I'm, I know. A little unconventional, Reagan. Given that you're uh, freshly licensed, I think you know that I would not have assigned a high-profile case like this to you, right? So, um, what were you thinking and why didn't someone stop you? Well, you see, sir, I came into the observation room and I saw that no one was in there. I know that at any procedural level, a department has to report when there is no detective on site during the investigative process of a high-profile criminal. And so why didn't you report it? Well, I didn't have to report it. Excuse me? Technically, anyone trying this has to have at least one case under the belt before they're released in the field. Mm -hmm. Technically, licensure counts. We practice the cases, we just don't take them to the trial phase. So, that makes me a certified detective. My findings will be in the report. The only thing I shouldn't have done was a person at a psychologist. You may discipline me, however, for that one. Oh. Thank you. But, uh, it did work. Mm -hmm. You're still going to put yourself on report, however. And the next time this happens, if it happens, find someone. Yes, sir. Understood? Yes. One more thing. 
You're a very clever detective, a little too clever. But I'm going to promote you to the fraud division effective immediately. People like this uh, Billy character teach us that uh, if you want something, you've got to make it happen. I want you in fraud, so I'm going to make it happen. Congratulations. Thank you, sir.